Well, hey, Bob. Check out this new self-defense video my mom gave me. Awesome. Hit that in. It's not working. You got to press play. Welcome to self-defense. Part 3. The best offense is a good offense, but defense works also. Well, hello there, Timmy. Hi, Mr. Narrator. My name's not Timmy. Sure it isn't. I'm a girl. What's troubling you, son? Well, kids at school keep calling me slow. They bully me all the time. Golly, it's hard to do anything to stop them because I'm so slow. Sounds like you need better reaction times, Timmy. Excuse me? Do you ever play attention in chemistry class, Timmy? No. Well, if you did, you'd find that many factors influence reaction rates. And if you can use these tools to your advantage, you can react faster, more efficiently, and impress your chemically inclined friends. I don't think you... Yes, the four big factors affecting chemical rates. C-E-C-H. Catch. These stand for concentration, energy barrier, catalysts, and te higher temperature. Okay. Hey! Looks like you weren't concentrating. Well, then tell me about how to improve my concentration. Oh, silly Timmy, we aren't going to talk about that concentration. For reactions, concentration is the amount of molecules in a solution per volume. Higher concentration for those reacting will increase reaction rate. I thought this was a self-defense video. Just look at this. Where? See these blind children? They are currently involved in the human equivalent of a chicken fight. Now in a small room, they bounce around and randomly collide. Reactions happen when there are successful collisions between molecules. Not unlike blind children, which break their bonds. Let's increase the concentration. Now, see how they collide more often? Careful kids, you might poke an eye out. Let's get back to Timmy. Hello again, Timmy. Gee whiz, mister. What was that all about? How can I increase my concentration? Just find friends, Timmy. Even one friend will increase your chances of hitting one of those bullies. Yeah, that'd be nice. Let's go on to our second factor. Colliding with your opponent isn't good enough. A real reaction won't happen unless the collision has enough energy to break past the energy barrier. Huh? You ever seen those cool karate guys? They're always breaking concrete slabs. Here, Timmy, try breaking one. Ugh! Ow! I just can't do it! You need more energy. Here, Timmy, try now. Wow! Look at this random guy. He keeps trying to get over the hill to get to the other side but just can't make it. He needs more energy to get over that hump and claim his prize. In chemical reactions, energy hills must be overcome to break the present bonds and the reactants. Look, he's made it over using a running start. He used enough energy to overcome the hill. Now you know that hitting bullies isn't enough. You need to hit hard enough to break their bones like molecules break bonds. Thanks, mister. I'm not done yet. Oh, boy. Check out catalysts. These lower the energy barrier to make reactions easier. Look at that random guy now. This smaller hill is much easier for him to overcome. Just look at him show off. Catalysts work by lowering the activation energy in a reaction without being changed by the reaction. They often work by orienting molecules correctly for the right collisions to take place. This is how biological catalysts called enzymes work. There's an enzyme right now. Looks like that one molecule's in trouble. We want it to be in trouble. See the one molecule holding the other down? This is an enzyme. 
Watch as he directs the other molecule to the target molecule's weak point. Ooh. Yeah. The enzyme guides the two molecules together. You may even know things like enzymes in your own life. Ever tried an online dating service, Timmy? I'm 12. Sure you are, Timmy. Our last factor is high temperature. Let's check back with our blind kids. Wow, they're going fast! And see how they're colliding more often? Yeah, what got into them? They have more energy and are moving faster. This allows them to collide more often and much harder, making the energy barrier more plausible to overcome. I gave them all energy drinks. You're a sick, sick man, Mr. Narrator. Here, try your own energy drink. Okay. This one drink is particularly special. It actually contains a drug called speed. I can tell. I feel faster already. That's right. Try drinking this before conflicts with bullies. Your reaction rates will greatly rise. In chemistry, this is how temperature works. Molecules with higher temperature move faster because they have higher energy, and their higher energy collisions allow for easier bond cleavage. Ergo, broken bones. I mean, bonds. Well, I never knew chemistry could help me so much against bullies. Well, do you ever see a chemist being beat up by a bully? Well, I guess not now that I think about it. That's right. A bully wouldn't mess with a chemist. He'd get his ass kicked. Well, I think I'm good now. No one's ever going to call me Pipsqueak again. I hope not. Well? I can't believe your mom let us watch that. Let's show people some chemistry in action. All right. Everybody was cool.